it's a play within a play. So it's the the production we're doing is about a company putting on uh, a play. So the theatre is going to be stripped back. You're going to see our actual um, uh, uh, stage management actually on stage. So it will be sort of it will just be fascinating in that way. And yeah, it's about us putting on a, a play that we want to go to Broadway. So it's coming up to opening night. So we're going through the previews. But the lead actress, Sheridan Smith, is struggling with the script. She doesn't want to say the lines that are in there. She doesn't be- believe in it. So it's the chaos that's going on. You know, people don't know what to expect because it's not been done before. Um, but it's about the workings of theatre, you know, and, and you, you can see all everything that's happening backstage, you know. So it's a real insight into our industry, you know, and all the kind of madness that goes on behind the scenes. The people usually just watch a show and they don't see all that. So I really hope people are going to be, you know, really surprised and interested in all that. Because it's a show about a show being put on, you know, we we feel this sort of closeness and this proximity to the characters and to the situations and yeah. to the show itself. So. The fact that we are putting on a new musical that is about putting on a new production of a play on Broadway, you know, there's sort of levels of, like the onion there is, is like you can strip it back and keep on going. Yeah. Um, but there's there's a lot of joy and satisfaction, like that, I suppose, in that, in, in, in recognising those situations and those dynamics that, as you say, you know, when, when you do those new shows, suddenly you're like, okay, well, something's come around the corner, this complete surprise or shock or something yeah, happens. And there's, and there's always a degree of trial and error. Yeah. Like, you know, you can think you know what's going to work, but until you put it up and give it a go and try, which is kind of the fun. It's like the real fun of being in the theatre and, like, really being part of the creative process. You know, it doesn't, ha- it doesn't come along all the time, so it's, it is really wonderful to, to be part of that. Also, I mean, I've been in this, um, involved with this since um, 2020, since the first uh, workshop. So, and back then we were just sat in a semicircle, you know, social distance, you know, it was really... So to see it from then to here, it's extraordinary, you know, and also we never really, we didn't stage it. It was all about, you know, making sure that this fitted here and this song fitted there. and. Um, but now to actually finally get on our feet, it's it's fantastic. And, and there's the small factor of the fact that it's Rufus Wainwright's music oh, I mean, and lyrics. So it's really bizarre sometimes because he'll just sit there and go, it's, no, it's a little bit like this, and just sing a few notes like that. And everyone's like, oh my God, it's Rufus Wainwright. <laughs> when you work in Evo, you find an August emotion, then you've got to remember you've got to sing. <laughs> so it's like, oh God, no, I've never got to find my technique for singing and find the emotion. It's it's a bit like doing that, but it will all come together in the end. It's a totally different way of working that I've never never been used to. So you start day one with uh, your off script, you're in costume from day one. So it's weird, it's like a bit like you're dress rehearsing straight away. So you'll do the scene and and then then break it off and then you, you know you set it all. Because as an actor I think you kind of want to go, oh tell me what to do. <laughs> but he's, he's just got such a great vision and Jan, who he works with and Anna, Anna who does the costume their, their vision is incredible I've been part of it for spanning three years now um, and uh, I think from the minute we started it I was kind of totally fell in love with the music I mean it's just really stunning um, and it's just really interesting uh, being part of something all this way I don't think I've ever done that before actually and also it being a brand, brand new world premiere. I mean, I've done my fair few original casts, but quite often there's an American. It's already pretty much been set, and then we're doing them over here, but this is on another level of, it's just wonderful to be part of the, you know, the nitty gritty and, you know, um, what comes with a new show, the unknown. <laughs> the sort of, uh, you know, who knows what the final version will be, you know, it's exciting. And at the moment, we're, we're still in the midst of, um, we haven't even finished blocking act two yet. We're still, you know, relatively early in the stages of rehearsal so you know anything can happen which is very I find very <laughs> exciting within the play my character producer has brought in a documentary team so we have cameras so that within the play within the play there are actual cameras um, showing stuff on a, on a screen so it's a different technique in a way because you've got your back to the audience which is normally a massive massive no-no <laughs> you could be being picked up by a camera and shown in a so um it's been very exciting in that way, yeah. Musicals are quite a manipulative art form anyway, aren't they? If you think about it, you know, you're told a story and then you are you are led on an emotional journey by the music, which sends you in a particular way anyway, emotionally. 
because a composer has decided to um, expand on an emotional moment and force an audience to feel a certain way because of the music. And this is a wonderful thing, don't get me wrong, it's, I'm not saying this derogatorily. But then in order to, uh, to also have the ability to be able to, to film someone while they're doing it, specifies the detail of where, where that emotion, what, what Evo and Rufus want to do so specifically. It's like a straight shot into the sort of emotional heart of the piece. Yeah. And yes, it is manipulative, but I don't mean that in a sort of nefarious way. It just, it's like, this is the story that we want to tell, and this is the emotion that we want you to feel in this and moment. And a lot of the time it's the guttural moments, it's the real powerful moments that yeah. are captured in that way. Um, the moments where maybe the character wouldn't want to be seen in that moment. It's the yeah. fly on the wall, unseen, which you're getting to see, which is just yeah. electric, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but it's a great time for theatre, I think. Like, especially after having the time in COVID, and it was heartbreaking for you know a lot of my theatre friends who were in shows and they closed. But now it's all picking up again, and there's like new things happening. It's an exciting time.